Right, next steps. Might as well just continue on while I'm at it. I'm going to try to see if I can get the tub out. So, there's a raft of bolts all the way across. Obviously the bolts that hold the seal. I believe there may be a couple of bolts underneath here. Obviously the ones that run across the back. And I would have to have a look underneath to see how many more there are. See that? So there's another one for this little bracket here that's uh, up there. So there's quite a fair bit to remove. Okay, so far I've taken those two out, which belong to those two there. And I've got quite a lot to go, so this is going to be a fairly, fairly tedious process to take all these out. Now, this is an indication of why these chassis rust. Let's see if you can see that there. Can you see all that dirt? See that? This entire outrigger here is completely filled with mud and you wonder why um, these chassis rust out after 50 years surprisingly good actually that they hold out that long all right time to use the grinder I've got to get to some of those bolts there and I suspect that's going to be the case for most of the bolts underneath And that's what I'm probably going to have to do for a lot of them. Alright, so the boy and I are continuing to try and remove as many of the bolts in the back this time. Oh, we've got to take all these, yeah. these, 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 and that. And guess what? I mean, I would like to that one, we'll be That's right, so we just... Dovetails. Yeah, we're taking the wrong one out, but that's all right. That's what happened on the other side. It's got to be leaning against that. Oh, yeah. No, and can you see the one I'm moving? Yeah, that's the one I've got it on. All right, ready? Yeah. Dad, do you want me to get this camera? It's already recording. Yeah, I know. Do you want me to show you what we're doing? If you want to. Look how dusty that nail is. And we have to wear safety goggles because you don't want to have it in your mind. Get rusty nails. Twisty nails. Anyway. Right, so unfortunately we have to start cutting these ones out there's no way that um yeah they wouldn't they, they yeah. Rocks. yeah so they they're just move, so they just rusted through so we just um yeah cut them through you just got that hammer that's you right cut it thingy, you went and, and it's actually quite quicker isn't it if we do that yeah we just we just slack it on off enough so that i've got a little bit of perch behind the the head and then just cut them off yeah, and then after that we need to do the ones over there. Yeah, but we can't do the ones over there the same way because we've got the petrol yeah. tank. Exactly. So we're just using basic quarter-inch drive, as I said, just to slacken up. And then after that, um, just cut it off. I mean, the entire chassis back end section here is completely rusted. And I'll show you a detailed um, video on that once we've got the tub off. That's it. Oh, it's getting tight. Okay, that one was really tight. All right. Uh, Dad, I think you can change all the rest. Yep, we can draw on the rest out. Yep, okay. All right. Okay, we 
just do you have another one? Tap and film it there. Tap and that goes in there. And we'll just pick it up later on. Grab a smaller screwdriver. Right, so the next step here is to remove the bolts from this outrigger here. Now the issue is the bolts are up right underneath here and in between the fuel tank and the outrigger. So basically the next step is to remove this fuel tank and to do that there are a few bolts, I think three bolts on each side. I've already removed one, looks like that. And there's a few bolts over here, okay, to remove as well. And of course we'll need to remove the, the hoses and the um, just it, well this one here was quite easy just remove that and then we'll be able to drop that and once we've dropped that then we'll be able to get to that outrigger there Okay, so that's that. But we're about to drop the petrol tank out. So, can I start the car up before? There we go, that's out. Can I start it up? And now I need to secure that. Okay. Alright, so we've got it secured. We just need to take off the last two bolts that are holding it. Seems like it's still stable. Um, so, still there, still there. You haven't missed anything. Again. Is it getting caught in there? No. No, no, it's still pretty good. Oh no, it's getting caught there. Look. No, Here. it's still okay. No, it's still okay. That's still alright, that's still alright. Oh god. It's coming out. Okay. Just need to make sure that we don't die. Maybe that sounds like a good idea. Continue one. It's still going. Look. Oh, now. Okay. I'm gonna hold this. Yep, okay. And we still continue dropping it. Mm -hmm. Boom. I actually don't think. It's that heavy? It's that heavy. Right, I'll just put that back in here. Okay. Right. Ah. <laughs> Which way are you filming? Right, so that was weighing nothing. So now we'll take it in. Right, so now we've taken that off. And we've got access to these bolts here, which you probably can't see, I'm not sure. Okay. See these bolts over here? One, two, three, four. But what are they going to do? Well, that separates this body as well. So I've done it the same on the other side. Oh. Okay. So we've got to do it on this side. Here, I'll get the rest of this. I've now loosened up both seals on that side as well. So all the bolts are gone there that I can see. The seal on the other side is also loose. So you can see I can now start moving it. 
However, before I do anything, I've got to remove the the cabling, the wiring that goes through to here, and of course the other side. All right. So what I've done is I've just disconnected the wiring down the bottom, so effectively I don't have to worry about dealing with that at the moment. So you can see there, and you can also see the condition of the chassis. Check out these great big weapon holes here. So um, this whole cross member is completely gone, and I suspect there's going to be quite a lot more of the chassis gone. So hence why I was saying in my earlier videos, I don't think I'll be using this chassis. But anyway, at least it's now separated. I think I've got all the bolts out. I've gave it a bit of a test lift and things are lifting, so I'll show you what I mean. It certainly is a two-person job, so I'm not going to be able to lift this until I get some assistance um, later on, because effectively what I need to do is lift that up and walk it into the shed. I'll actually have to make a make room and um, just put it in an area where I can then put all that other stuff on it until I start working on it. Anyway, I'll leave it as it is now and what I'll do is I'll continue filming when I've got someone here to give me a hand to move it. So effectively lifting it up and putting it in the garage and then I'll continue with the next um, series of videos. So, um, for the moment, uh, stay tuned and thanks very much for watching.